Alright everyone, it's Johei here. I have some really exciting news. OpenAI just released a new version of ChatGPT on May 13. And today is May 15th. This new version is called GPT 4O and the letter O comes from word Omni. So if you haven't heard about this yet, now you are about to. With this new version, GPT 4O has a real-time vision capabilities. It can recognize and understand what's happening in images and videos uh, through a camera in real time, which is kind of mind-blowing. Plus you can chat with it, almost like you would chat with a real person. Pretty amazing, right? And this version is of course uh, also generally smarter than the previous versions. Okay, without further ado, let's dive into this new version by checking out some demo videos from OpenAI's website. And maybe I'll throw some comments on them. I'll put a link to this page in the video description below if you want to check them out yourself. But yeah, remember to like this video, leave a comment and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. And let's get started. Hey, how's it going? Hey there, it's going great. How about you? I see you're rocking an open AI hoodie. Nice choice. What's up with that ceiling though? Are you in a cool industry style office or something? Well, can you take a guess at what I might be doing based on what I'm showing you here? Hmm, from what I can see, it looks like you're in some kind of recording or production setup. With those lights, tripods, and possibly a mic, it seems like you might be gearing up to shoot a video or maybe even a live stream. Yeah. In fact, we've got a new announcement to make. That's exciting. Announcements are always a big deal. Judging by the setup, it looks like it's going to be quite the professional production. Is this announcement related to OpenAI, perhaps? It is. And in fact, what if I were to say that you're related to the announcement or that you are the announcement? Mm, me? <laughs> the announcement is about me? Well, color me intrigued. Are you about to reveal something about AI? Or more specifically about me as a part of open AI? You've got me on the edge of my, well, I don't really have a seat, but you get the idea. What's the big news? Yeah, we've got a new model that can interact with the world through audio, vision, and text. So in the demo video we just watched, chatting with this AI almost in real time is quite impressive. GPT-40 also described its uh, surroundings very well and it made its own interpretations of the surroundings. Pretty cool. Let's zoom in and see what else we have here. So GPT-40, where the O stands for Omni, is a big step towards more natural human-computer interaction, like conversations. Uh, it can respond within a couple of hundred milliseconds, which is comparable to human response time in normal conversations. Uh, GPT-40 is also better at vision and audio understanding compared to existing GPT versions. Okay, let's look at some more demo videos. And in this video, someone is preparing for a job interview and asks the AI for feedback on their outfit. <laughs> and let's see what happens. Hey, how's it going? Hey, Rocky. I'm doing great. How about you? I'm awesome. Listen, I got some huge news. Oh, do tell. I'm all ears. Well, in a few minutes, I'm going to be interviewing at OpenAI. Have you heard of them? OpenAI? Huh? Sounds vaguely familiar. <laughs> Getting, of course. <laughs> That's incredible, Rocky. What kind of interview? Well, it's for a software engineering role, but I just need to know, do I look presentable, professional? Well, Rocky, <laughs> you definitely have the I've been coding all night look down, which could actually work in your favor. Maybe just run a hand through your hair or lean into the mad genius vibe. Well, your enthusiasm is what's really gonna shine through. I don't have a lot of time, so I'm just gonna throw this on. What do you think? <laughs> oh, Rocky, that's quite a statement piece. I, I mean, you, you'll definitely stand out. So maybe not in the way you're hoping for an interview. Okay, I got it, I got it. Nice, it's so, so awesome. And this one was really fun. They are playing uh, rock, paper, scissors with the AI. So let's take a look. Hey, I'm Alex. 
And I'm Miana. Hi, Alex and Miana. Nice to meet you both. How's it going? It's pretty cool. Uh, we're trying to figure out what should we play. Do you have any suggestions? Absolutely. How about a classic game of rock, paper, scissors? It's quick, fun, I think and that you don't sounds need any great. Can you count us in and sound like a sportscaster? And welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the ultimate showdown of the century. In this corner, we have the dynamic duo, Alex and Miana, ready to throw down. Okay, just count us in. <laughs> All right, here we go. In three, two, one, shoot. Now <laughs> show your hands. What did you pick? Who won? Would you look at that? It's a tie. Well, okay, let's do it again. Close. Round two, here we go. Get ready. And three, two, one, shoot. Let's see those hands. <laughs> Who won? And it's another tie. Okay, let's do it again. <laughs> All right, third time's a charm. Here we go. Three, two, one, shoot. Let's see those picks. Who won? And we have a winner, Miana's scissors cut through Alex's paper. Great game, you two. Pretty cool, thank you. <laughs> Thanks. So nice, so nice, so nice. And let's next take a look at this demo. It's about a real-time translation, okay? Hey ChatGPT, I'm here with my coworker today. Um, we'd like you to act as our translator for us. So every time I say something in English, can you repeat it back in Spanish? And every time he says something in Spanish, can you repeat it back in English? Sure, I can do that. Let's get this translation train rolling. Um, hey, how's it been going? Have you been up to anything interesting recently? Um, hola, ¿cómo te ha ido? ¿Has hecho algo interesante últimamente? Hola, bien. Uh, sí, un poco ocupado aquí preparando un evento para la semana que viene. Hey, I've been good. Just a bit busy here preparing for an event next week. Can you tell me anything about it? That sounds really interesting. ¿Me puedes contar algo sobre eso? Suena realmente interesante. Uh, no, no puedo decir mucho, pero creo que el resto del mundo lo verá dentro de poco. I can't say much, but I think the rest of the world will see it soon enough. Oh, well, I can't wait to see what it is as well. How epic. This means we might all have our real-time interpreters in our pockets soon. Nice. Uh, there are a lot of demo videos in this page, so we won't watch them all in this YouTube video. But feel free to check them out on your own time. They are all quite fascinating. If you scroll down on the site, you will find more detailed information about these models and their new features. There is also info about the safety and limitations that's worth reading. And here it says that GPT-40, with all its new features, was made available to everyone uh, starting May 13, 2024. It's available for both free and plus users on ChatGPT, and plus users can send five times more messages to GPT-40. So that's the difference. Uh, so the new version should be available to everyone within the next few days or next few weeks or sooner. I have managed to enable it on my ChatGPT, uh, but it didn't work uh, just as like we saw in the demo videos, uh, yet at least. Or at least it felt that it was not as smooth as we saw in these videos. But maybe the new version is still rolling out uh, gradually. Anyways, I just wanted to introduce this new version and talk a little about it, because it's a pretty significant leap forward in AI technology. And I'm actually a, like a heavy user of ChatGPT. I use it pretty much every day, like a lot. And also I'm really looking forward to seeing what the ChatGPT 5.0 will be like. But for now, we'll be using GPT 4.0 for a while. But yeah, so thanks for watching. Remember to like this video, leave a comment and make sure to subscribe to my channel. I'm Joe Hey, and I'll see you in the next video. Chadam!